Na nko yewra Alex Mode. Na yewra Alex Mode no eh kan GMPC wono na na eye pani ewo ho. Na Asambia ene ababeto on front page of the Daily Guide it was the World Bank denies Alex Mode claims. Na o chira o si yewra bi akoka Asambia afa independent power producer se eye eh, bibia na ye conditioner e eh, batter si car na ama e world bank na e dey my so we say world bank abi deny say asem na mbom ye ne ne kwaje twen komo ne musa ne say asem e ti say pa doctor alex mode good morning good morning the line is very very bad i can't oh, hear wow, you wow, wow, wow. and then uh, so hold on we are we we are you know putting on at the another line so that we can talk to you better okay uh why na fa eyi wo pe nu paper e be yesa brofo ah be ka brofo e be ka brofo eh eh e be ka brofo na 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 de ma mi fa we yi em fem we eh latest for most your partner for life aha waba 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 yeah doctor let's move i think this line is better my name is alex Moldo. there's no doctor oh <laughs> sorry sorry yeah yeah i'm fine and how is life yeah, also yeah. treating you sir and how is life yeah. also treating you sir oh very good very 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 good but you it's know, been a while <laughs> yes i've recovered i recovered from covid so i've been i've been oh. at home. wow 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 and how was it when you were infected with this covid how how was it it was terrible but the medical facilities the doctors and the nurses were very good they knew what they were doing they gave us assurance that we'll get better um i was admitted for about eight eight days uh, it went very bad but um we thank god with all the prayers from people and the good work of the doctors their knowledge and their extra care and vigilance i i made it we thank god that's because i went i went to the hospital early okay. yes I, when i when i got it i went to the hospital early from your own experience how deadly is the disease it's very deadly uh, one day i couldn't even breathe wow um it's it's it's, it's, it's something for which even on your greatest enemy uh, you know oh. you you pray for everybody not to go through this it's, it's a devastating thing and even now my my lungs are still affected um, oh. i have to exercise and do lung exercises to regain my full capacity of my lungs back so it's it's not it's not an easy disease mm. and how were you treated because um the covenant vaccines were not in the country then when you were infected so how were you well, treated I, Luckily, I was one of the early ones in in late December, as January, that had it. So there was availability of of beds yeah, in the hospitals. Uh, but after, I think after the New Year, you know, to, from 15th January, the hospitals started getting swamped. But the nurses and the doctors were very good. I think we need to train more nurses, especially. And, and doctors in this area um, and I think that is the bottleneck the bottleneck is we don't have enough trained people for intensive care um, management so that is one of the areas I would advise the government to focus on in training people sir what advice would you give to those who go about and uh, not observing these um, protocols and those who are lazy the fear that oh it's, it's the white man's disease you live in the tropics and they can't get infected as they say what advice would you give to such people my advice is we should listen to the doctors and the scientists who tell us that wearing masks washing our hands safe distancing seeing more aerated areas not in enclosed rooms um we should uh, take that advice very seriously because even those of us who were masked, were washing our hands, we got, so it's, not, it's not something that you should choke, choke with at all. Um, it's important that we, we make all these 
available for especially the the, the disenfranchised and the elderly, so that they, you know they can get masks to wear, and then we explain to them to 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 have a safe distance from people. Okay, sir, so would you be one of the crusaders to uh, tell people to go for the vaccine now that it's in? Well, I think the vaccine is important. Um, it's not going to basically cure the disease or, or, or stop it outrightly, but the more people who take the vaccine will help bring the disease, the effect of the disease, and the number of people who get a disease down. It will, it will bring the numbers down. So it is also one of the protocols. Getting the vaccine is important, but um, I, you know, I, 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 people should not think if they get the vaccines, they can abandon the masks, they can abandon the protocols of washing your hands, safe distancing. You still have to have those. It's not, you can't, you can't go back to your normal life because you've taken the vaccine. You, you have to um, ensure that you, you, you abide by the protocols, the, the COVID protocols, and wear your masks. And wash your hands regularly, and and keep in safe distances and and in erected areas. Okay, okay. Okay, FM. Okay. One zero one point seven.